This is AM Agenda. Thanks for your company this morning. With me now, Labor MP Stephen Jones and Liberal MP Steve Chobo. Uh, Stephen Jones, I've got to go to you first of all. The Prime Minister, in her speech this morning to the to CEDA, says that uh, the economic fundamentals remain strong and arguing that case, but uh, complaining of a lack of confidence or pessimism, but doesn't doesn't the government's own navel-gazing add to that pessimism? No, important speech to CEDA this morning, underlying the economic fundamentals, 960,000 jobs since uh, 2007. We've got record low interest rates, inflation well in check, growth, unlike any other developed country in the world. The economic fundamentals are good. More work to be done, but these are the things, these are the policy issues that we should be focusing Greg on. Greg Combe says that the leadership issue needs to be resolved this week. The Prime Minister says they were resolved in March. Where do you stand on this? What's but your view? I agree with Greg Combe. I think this issue does need to be resolved. It needs to be resolved in the issue of party unity. It needs to be resolved so that we can protect the very strong legacy of reforms that we've put in place since 2007. NDIS, uh, reforming the, the industrial relations legislation, the jobs as I've just uh, uh, referred to, the Gonski education reforms, all of these things. Just as importantly as that, it needs to be resolved to give hope to the people who want to vote against Tony Abbott in the September election. But, but the Prime Minister isn't going anywhere. There doesn't look like there's any ministerial delegation to call on her to stand down. Mr Rudd says he's not going to challenge. One of those things must change if that is if you are to uh, see what you want, and that is a resolution to this this week. I think it has to be resolved. But it has what's to be going resolved to by the what end of the change? week. Uh, probably the best way to resolve it would be a ballot. I, I say that um, because uh, in, in the interests of party unity, in the interests of protecting our legacy, and in the interest of ensuring that Tony Abbott doesn't become the next Prime Minister of Australia. Should Labor go back to Kevin Rudd? Look, these are matters that need to be discussed inside the party room uh, and I'd rather be talking about the important policy issues that you opened up with, uh, the strength of the economy and the important reforms that we've got before the parliament this week, not the least of which is uh, the government's education reform. He remains much more popular though, doesn't he? Look, that's the, the, that's the there reality. Is no doubt the that primary that vote's back to 29% today. Look, there is no doubt that Kevin Rudd is a very strong campaigner. There is no doubt that if the polls are right, uh, we face a thumping uh, loss at the September but election. Is, isn't it true that the electorate's never forgiven you for getting rid of him in the first place? Look, uh, I'm not going to rake over the tea leaves uh, here, and I'd like to be talking about the important policy issues that are before the parliament this week. Uh, I believe uh, that the leadership issue does need to be resolved. I agree with Greg Combe. I don't think it helps when you've got uh, senior cabinet members out in, par out in public uh, talking about this issue and having shots. I think we need to uh, be showing uh, unity. We need to be locking in behind uh, the important policy issues and ensuring that we don't go away from Canberra this week without having these issues resolved. Steve Chobo, the Prime Minister this morning in her speech to CEDA says that uh, we saw the national accounts for March a couple of weeks ago. They were solid. They showed our economy growing and stable and strong. They were good news. Solid growth at 2.5% for the year. When you look at the rest of the world, yep. low unemployment, low inflation, the fundamentals are there, you must you know, concede I, that. I think, Kieran, no, I certainly, don't don't, I certainly do not concede the, the, the it. That the economy is fundamentally I, I absolutely do not concede it. And in fact, I think what we heard this morning from the Prime Minister is one of the most arrogant speeches that I've heard from a leader. Uh, basically, Julie Gillard said to the Australian people, I'm right and you're all wrong. And I just heard Stephen make the comment this morning you know, that Australia had growth uh, that was unmatched around the world. You see, this is the problem with Labor, is that they don't get even the most basic facts correct. And I'm sorry to say, see, but you are are wrong. If you look at the G20 countries, for example, Australia's growth since 2007 sits about middle of the pack. I think we're about number eight out of 20 countries in the G20. So this notion that you know we are the miracle economy is just not supported by facts. This morning, Julie Gillard said as part of her speech, it was the first achievement that she rattled off in her list, uh, bringing the budget back to surplus faster than any developed economy in the world. We were meant to want to have meant to have a 1.5 billion dollar surplus. We've got a 19.4 billion dollar deficit, and the problem is that you know, the, the Prime Minister and other members of the Labor Party can get out there and say, look, we're managing Australia's economy, but we fundamentally know that they're not. Aren't you adding to that pessimism that she no. complained about this morning? No, what, what's important is to be straight with the Australian people, to look them in the eye, explain what's going on. And, and the problem but at the you, moment you, is... I know you've made that comparison with, with the growth figures currently, sure, but, if you look at, but if you look at the last... Unemployment's going up. If you, but um, if you look at the last three, four years, sure. through the GFC... Yep. 
You, are you saying that Australia is not a, one of the standout economies? We are in the middle of the pack when it comes now, to economic growth. Now, through the GFC. But that's, that's the entire period since 2007. OK, let's go to Stephen Jones on that. Middle of the pack. Look, Steve Australia. actually knows a bit about economics, unlike his leader. Um, he knows that uh, the, the, un the, 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 the unemployment figures in Australia are the strongest in the world. Would you rather the unemployment with the five in front of it or the ten in front of it that we have in Europe or the lacklustre employment figures, albeit in Proving recently uh, in the US. That's the number one issue in my electorate. That's the number one issue in the country. Okay, let's go to jobs, Steve on that. And we are doing very well jobs, on jobs. And, and if you look at the most recent jobs data, that, that, that is, went against market Unemployment is going up, Kieran. That, I mean, that well, is, it didn't go Labor can say, no, but unemployment, when the coalition, no, when the coalition was in down. power, we got unemployment down to a 33-year record low. Since then, unemployment has been trending up. But the bigger point here, Kieran, is that this is window dressing. The Labor Party is simply on a situation where they will say anything in an attempt to try to say that they're focused on the job. But we know in reality what they're doing is they're just being focused on but, each other. But, but you're saying that unemployment's going up. It's 5.5%, sure. is it not, at last... Point that didn't go up in the last month. But I'm talking about the trend. And, and, it's, and, it's, and it's holding month. up against market expectations seemingly on a monthly basis. Look, the reality is that unemployment has gone up since the coalition was in power, full stop. The trend has been for it to go up. And the concern, Kieran, is that we're not seeing it decrease. There are more Australians in work today than there have been at any time in our nation's history. Unemployment is low, inflation is low, Australia is a standout economy in the world, uh, and these guys, your team, you keep your team, the statement that we're a standout economy in the world. Every time we just, have good news, wrong. you guys are Stephen, pull a sad face. Do you retract we have the, statement? the best economy, we have the strongest economy in the world. It's why we have a AAA wrong. credit you can't rating, say that. a AAA credit rating by all of the major rating agencies. Well, that, that's just fact, sitting, it? No, it's not. Just sitting there and saying it repeatedly. No, 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 no. That we we're, don't the have a no that we're the strongest. That we're the strongest economy do in the world. Do we have a AAA credit yes, rating? Yes, we do. And that's by all the three major ratings yes. agencies. Why have we got a AAA because credit rating? Because the coalition because left you with zero debt. That's why. We have because we have and managed the economy well. Okay, let's. I want to finish with Steve Stephen Jones. So, but the, the bottom line is, and I think the Prime Minister pointed to economic commentators, others that have been pessimists. But you, you must concede that Labor's own. Uh, turbulence over the last three years hasn't hasn't helped confidence, surely. What I'll concede is that we've spent uh, too much time talking about and focusing on internal issues when the externals are very good, over 540 pieces of legislation, strong economic fundamentals and a strong reform okay. agenda. Stephen Jones, Steve Chavo, thanks, gents. Thanks. Have a good week. It should be an eventful one. Now to Manager of Opposition Business, Christopher Pine, I spoke to him.